Hiya, Lottie here. Welcome back. So today I am going to be going through my completed junk journal. I'm sad to see this one go, but I am completely finished with it. It is absolutely full and chock-a-block. <laughs> um, definitely gator-mouthing a tad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to also be putting up a no-talking version of this um, flip-through. But I wanted to do a proper clip through as well, as I didn't do one last time and I feel like I should have. Um, let me know if you would still like me to go back and do a talking version of my flip through from my last junk journal, the one that I finished before I started this one. Because um, if you want that, I would definitely do that for you guys, um, just to give you a more in-depth flip through. But like I said, if you prefer the no talking um, videos, this will be up at the same time as a no talking version so that being said let's get into it so as you can see she's big <laughs> she's a chunky monkey um i used a napkin for the front cover of this journal um and i did the technique where you melt it to the plastic and then to the fabric so rather than adding glue the, the fab the plastic acts as your glue and then here i have a fabric spine and it's that um, uh, upholstery fabric and I have one two three four five six seven eight signatures in this journal um, I, originally I don't think I had the closure I went back and added that later possibly or I may be talking rubbish I know I had to do that with my last one um, and then I've just put this little old nameplate thing here as well so and we go the first page of my journals, I like to do a sort of sentiment page where I've got maybe a, one of my favourite quotes and then obviously the year or years that the journal entries are in. So for this one, it was 20 to 21 and 22. So three years worth of memories or almost. Um, it's probably more like two and a half. And then the quote I have is from Dr Seuss which says sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory and I very much believe that. So on to the first page and this had a little flip out so I just kind of added to it and I made these um, sort of newspaper articles or rather I printed them off from the Spanish influenza back in the day because um, obviously 2020 was a very trying year and we had the whole outbreak of Covid so I used those for the vintage look and then I've just done my entry here and I've also added this little flip page here where I've got a picture of myself and my daughter wearing our masks um, and then here is a continuation of that same spread. I've got a little journaling spread here and then another one here. I don't have photos in all of my journal spreads but I do have photos in a lot of them. So for instance here it's mostly just writing and I've got some pumpkin seeds um, stored there and then this is kind of documenting a journal, a custom order that I did. So I've just got a few little bits and bobs and then this is actually the spine template I made that journal and I do plan on coming back with a photograph of the completed journal I just haven't gotten to that yet to put it in this little envelope and some of these papers for instance this one here is my own design that I made for when I make a custom journal I like to make um, <clears throat> digital papers solely for that journal so that's what that is and then I've got a little nice I've actually dyed this um, sorry Silk myself for the the journal that I worked on for the custom order and I really love how it came out. It's really emerald green in colour and it's, just, it's even got a little sheen to it. I thought it was amazing. Um, another journal entry and this is where I actually did an entry on another journal and I've got the picture of it all wrapped up here and then a letter that I wrote and then this was my this is my business card but this is the original one that I actually collaged on so these are all scans of this original um, card that I made with a little vintage button 
obviously a cameo <laughs> some vintage lace and then I've got like a book plate where I've got my shop name on the front and then this is one of the Tim Holtz photographs and this is one of my favourite techniques where I've got a picture underneath and then I've whip stitched around with a tracing paper on top so I'm pretty sure it's lace that I have layered underneath yeah it's lace so it's all different laces that I've layered underneath here and then I've put a bit of tracing paper on top of it and whip stitched all the way around it so that I can then write on top of it another entry here and again this is one of my one labels I think I missed a page I did <laughs> so this is just pictures that my my little boy has, has done for me and then I made it into a pocket so that I could pop a few others in behind it I can get a hold of them so he loves to play with stamps um, so this was him playing with the stamps as was this piece of paper here and then this is him painting and again he was playing with um, distress inks and pens and then he stuck a couple of stickers on this one and then this is him painting again and I also put a little sentiment on this page that says don't wait for the perfect moment take the moment and make it perfect and I've just got the thing written down here where it says that um, my son was three when he made these and another journaling entry with a lot of writing I think I did a process video on this spread I do have a lot of process videos um, I have a playlist that I will link below if you're interested and want to go have a peek and this is actually carried on onto the next page here and then I have another journal spread about a card that I sent to my gran and it's got pictures there as well I have a nice little nazi flip here <clears throat> sorry I don't know what's going on with my throat and then I have some journaling underneath and this is actually like a 5x5 five five piece of paper and I've just added it, kind of patched it together where it needed to be patched together to make it fill the page and then this is another um, entry, this is actually me documenting when I got my first glass quill <clears throat> and then this is just a wee trip to town in the mayhem and then I practiced, well I, I wanted to try this um, technique of the acetate page and so I took some pressed flowers and I um, um, it's not acetate it's oh my goodness laminate I, yeah so I took some flowers and I laminated them and then I've added this flower die cut here and then I frame around these little flowers and then I've added it as a pocket and then I've just put in a little letter there and then I've got another journey, journal entry here and I love how I did these with the flips for the photos and then this was a feather that my son gave me when we were out at the park that day more journal entries so like I said not all my journal entries do have photos um, I try to include photos whenever I can but sometimes it's nice to use other elements um, such as like little pictures and things like that um, all right there I was like what's going on here I couldn't remember but that's because they're both connected <laughs> so I've just done some collaging on this page and then here I have my journaling entry tucked away underneath that little hidden area there and then my daughter's first day at high school And I've got like a timetable there and obviously some pictures and then this is my favourite bible quote a verse 1st Corinthians 13 4 to 8 and I absolutely love that and then here this is another one of my favourite entries I love 
this little booklet I made where I just ripped the edges and then I journaled inside and then just stuck it down. So very simple, obviously. Um, and again, this is one of my favourite um, tales and it's a tale of two wolves. Um, this was when I got my new Sizzix and I will like literally just had a bunch of fun playing with all the new die cuts that I had and embossing folders and I just kind of added them to this page and then added a little journaling spot about why I'm like putting them all down kind of thing about me getting the, the Sizzix. Here I have another journaling spot that's kind of hidden away and again I did a, a I mean I did a lot of journaling processes so the majority of these are probably I've done videos on them but I do remember certain ones and I definitely did this one. Um, my journal is mostly full of writing as you can probably tell. It does have photos and things and tickets and other things like that throughout but it is definitely me documenting memories. This was Christmas. 2020 and again this is one of my own designs um, one of my memo pads lots of writing <laughs> I have popped um, the odd um, piece of paper just to hide certain pictures that I don't want online <laughs> um, and I hand embroidered this I was practicing for a gift I was making for my little sister and um, so this was like my practice sheet <laughs> and I just kind of popped it there with a little note of what it is and again this is other little practice bits that I did and then here I have just random bits and bobs um, that I wanted to keep safe in my journal. So, another hidden journaling area with a letter, a, an envelope here, and that just slips underneath that little heart there. Dora's birthday. And then here I actually have a really hidden piece of journaling so obviously you would normally just kind of flip past that but in here I have sort of like a bad day of journaling um kind of like a brain dump idea um and that's just hidden in there out of view it's mostly um and this is just a copy of a letter that I sent to my mum and Take my daughter out on her new bike. <laughs> a little tip in there. And this is actually a few pages long. And then this opens up like so. And then you put it down for the, the journal area. This is actually a bit of a show I started watching called um, Lovecraft Country. I was enjoying it at first but I ended up just crying through most of the episodes <laughs> so I had to stop watching it. Um, people were really horrible back then. I mean not that they're much better in a lot of cases now but back then especially they were just really horrible and I just couldn't handle it. It was not for me. Anyway, so I've got these little guys here that I've fussy cut from my vintage postcard sticker sets. Another journaling area. And then this little guy is just held close with one of those Tim Holtz paper clips. And it's a little haiku for my game. Um, Ghost of Tsushima, I think it was called. You've got to make your own haikus and things like that in it as tasks. Um, so I wrote a couple down. 
this was just me documenting when I made my boxes. These are a few of my favourite things. So I've just kind of popped a few bits and bobs all over the page of items that were included in that box. So it's kind of everywhere. <laughs> and I've got little bits of journaling kind of dotted throughout. And this was just a fun wee day my son and I had when my daughter went back to school. I love that picture. He's got a lollipop in his mouth and he's jumping into a puddle. <laughs> More journaling, obviously. <laughs> and this was um, my son's first date at nursery. I love this. This was out of the kids' storybook. I'm not too fan, like, fond of how I wrote this journaling area because I think I should have used a darker ink because you can barely see the writing <laughs> which is weird and annoying and this is actually just a, a documentation of um, a documentary I watched where they're planning on putting people on Mars <laughs> so I thought I would write about that we're journaling here and again this is one of my own digitals as is this So some of the pages are pretty much just a little bit of decoration and then mostly writing. So I've just got a bit of lace here and then a bit of paper and a label and then the rest is just writing. And then others have obviously more decoration and then others have photographs. It just depends on what I had from the day or what happened that day. And then I've got some more bits and bobs in here. And then... I have another hidden sort of journaling spot right there. This is actually tips for life that uh, my friend Laura shared on her, um, I think it was her Facebook a while ago. This is me documenting that I got the flower letter set subscription for my birthday. And we went to the zoo, or the safari park, sorry. So I had a lot to journal about and not a lot of space as well, um, as well as a lot of photos. So I kind of layered things as much as I could. And then I also made a little separate booklet. For some extra photos. There was two pages, but it's not. It is one. And that just hugs that page there. And then I've got like one of these little skeleton clips that does not want to go back on. Um, and that just holds that in place. And here, like I said, I didn't have much for to add for decorations. So what I've just done is kind of made a waterfall effect with a um, vellum and then added my journaling underneath it. And then this one actually flips open and it's an envelope. And then I've got um, more journaling inside the envelope. And then here I've got a little book cover sticker and I've just put some photographs on the inside and this is a um, Halloween and that's why I've been like black with white writing I love that effect again I've done the same thing here where I've put an, a napkin underneath this thing and then the tissue paper on top and I love how it crinkles and it adds so much decoration for something so simple as well. Lots of writing. And this is my daughter's um, timetable. For second year. And 
I've got my journaling kind of layered up here and I've just taken a paper punch like one of those decorative ones and punched away the bottom before I started writing. So this flips up like so. And then this flips out. And then this also flips up and I've got journaling on there as well as down here. I try to utilise as much space in my journal as possible um, so I will layer pieces of paper rather than writing all over the page if I need a lot of space um, I will add more paper to it rather than moving on to another page And again, I've done the same thing here, where I've added sort of like a waterfall journal area. And I like the way the lace actually kind of holds that in place. And then here, this is actually a separate portion of my journals. So I've got some just string, really. <laughs> holding that in place and when you open it up it's actually past memories so from years ago like high school or just after it um, whereas all of the other entries are over the, the three years that I mentioned 2020 and up to 2022 whereas these are like this is 2011 when I went to anime, eh, anime, <laughs> Comic Con in London, eh, well one of the years, so I've just got a bunch of stuff from there, that's when I met a guy, a guy dressed as Teal'c, and we were dressed as characters from Black Butler, and we went out for dinner, and just different art pieces that I purchased while there, and then I met Warwick Davis, so I've got my picture there and I'm dressed as Regina from Once Upon a Time and I actually hand stitched this entire outfit which I'm very proud of. <laughs> and get another picture of Teal'c who is one of my favourite characters from Stargate Atlantis. And this is my the two friends that I was there with and again Warwick Davis getting a picture taken with him. And then this flips out and I've got some journaling and then some more photos here. And some more photos here, and here, and here. And we went to platform nine and three quarters at King Cross Station. And then here I just have my daughter throughout her years in primary school. So I've got every year except, I think it's five and seven I've still to add. Yes. Five and seven I've still to add. <laughs> but I have every year up until then. And then these are random cards. Um, so this is like my Young Scott card, um, my Sunny World card, my primary school um, lunch card, <laughs> and my college card. It's just a bunch of like water stones and things like that. Random cards. Um, this was a picture I actually drew in high school and then I coloured it in and I came across it so I thought I would pop it in as a, its own page. And then this was a Happy Meal I received and I just popped it on the back. And my daughter was getting sized for a, a dress for a wedding and she just looks so grown up. <laughs> so I had to pop that in there. Um, in one of my previous homes I built a book nook which is essentially a cupboard with a library inside it and a little area to sit. And um, the second I was finished, my daughter jumped in and started reading a book. <laughs> so I absolutely love this. I definitely miss my little book nook. And I just love that she was so happily sitting there reading. Um, that's my little niece. And I'd broken my leg. Um, I was in the Air Cadets for four years and I absolutely loved it. Um, prom. Oh. 
uh, we went to a mask ball at our church. This is my little sister and one of our dear friends, you'll actually be able to see there, our dear friend McD. And we were all dolled up for the masked ball at the church, which was good fun. This is my daughter in the womb. <laughs> and my grand and papa holding her the day she was born. And a little gift card that she gave me. And this is just random pictures of my friends from high school. And again, me showing off my broken leg. <laughs> And then this is my son in the womb. This was only days before he was born. We went for a 3D scan. Uh, I think it was the 21st or so. Yeah, so it was like six days before he was born. We got that scan done. And then these are just random tickets from different concerts and plays and things like that that I've been to over the years. Some of them have kind of um, started to fade. I don't know what's happened to this one. This one I had to write in the date and everything because it was gone. But this one literally went completely black. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> um, random bits and bobs. This was um, my sticker when I was auditioning for X Factor. And some more little gift tags from my daughter. This was um, a gift tag that came with a little present, a little tiny envelope, uh, envelope, elephant that my good friend Amy gave me. And then I've got postcards that people have sent me and a sort of waterfall effect all the way down. Um, and I think the first one is like 2004, so they go they go way back. <clears throat> um, this is me documenting my surgery and how we tried to teach ourselves Japanese in high school. My last um, high school photo and my last birthday card from my gran before she passed. So I just kind of keep that in its own little section, um, separated from the rest of the journal, just so that I remember that obviously this isn't the same timeline, I guess you could say. And I just put a little bit of glue at the end of these bits of twine so that they slip in really easily. just to make my life easier whenever I'm opening it. <laughs> and I just added this little key on another bit of twine. And then moving on, we have uh, my birthday. And again, I've put one of those influenza um, newspaper articles. I've printed it onto pretty thick vellum. And I've just kind of added that over the top to kind of, I don't know, like highlight the fact that it was very prevalent during my birthday time. <clears throat> so, last signature. And this is all part of my birthday as well. So this part here, and then this part here, and here, and here. <laughs> and I've just got um, a little note in there. That just slips in that little pocket, and then that's the end of the birthday journaling page. <laughs> um, some more journaling, lots of writing, and then these are all things that I received um, when I bought things from like Etsy shops, and I just kind of kept a hold of things. That I liked <laughs> and just popped them on a page. This was our first day out after the first quarantine. Um, took the kids to KFC and we went shopping and just did a little bit of walking around essentially trying to get some fresh air and normality back. And then a little bit of journaling there. And here.
thought there was another page there, but there's not. <laughs> and there we go. So that is my completed junk journal. And I've already started on my newest junk journal, which is more shabby chic in style. It was a gift from my dear friend, Lori. Hi, Lori. And I absolutely love it. I actually have it right here. And I have done a flip through of this when she first gave it to me and all of its glory. Um, I have since had to add a bit to the cover just to help me close it. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, the majority of it is pretty much the same, except obviously I have added journal entries to it. So I will be putting journal entries up very shortly from this work of art. And I hope you enjoyed my flip through and I will see you all again soon. Take care and God bless. Bye.